And then along last we have the two boys who are on this Bon Jovi Never Rang Me album, which is the, you know, the official release date. 17th of March, Paddy's Day. So here's the man out of the engine room, here's the guy that made it all happen. Mr. Grant Nicholas, sometimes known as Nicky G, to his friends at Santa Pons and all over the world. <laughs> How did we make this album anyway? It was a wild day, I remember that. <laughs> okay. It was a quick day. Many hours. Yeah. Just the drums about two hours. How many tracks did we do in total? Ah, 14 or 16. Yeah. Something, yeah. And uh, they just went straight down. Some of them were only two takes. That's right. Maybe one take, I think. Dublin City Girls was one take. Yeah. Straight down. No clip tracks. No, no, I'm not like that at all. Just me and you and the dog man Bill. <laughs> Rough, <laughs> but uh, you, um, some of the tempos are crazy in it though. I like it though. Yeah, no, I, I think the, the most important thing about it is it's live in the studio. It's just me and you. I'm looking at you through the glass, you're looking back out, we start, put the way we go, and trash every single one. How to get that energy down on the a medium, as they call it, but we yeah. got it. No problem. The power's like colossal, but I think it's great. You know, but the tempos, you say, come on, let's go, like, let's go. Yeah. And I'm trying to hold it back, you no, 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 let's go. Well, and you were right, it sounds great. Yeah, the, the, like when I was speeding up, the numbers are speeding up. I don't know the speed, no. Well, I'm not speeding up, because they get faster. I also have time as a magazine. No, but the excitement is what it's all about. That's right. Do you know what I mean? It's the, the energy. energy. Yeah. So and we've got the energy. Well, like, if you're getting carried away, there's nothing wrong with that. Getting, but okay. If we're going backwards, that's a different thing. But we're going forwards. Like falling off the back of a bus? Well, here's what I'm saying. Really. Mm. The heaviest band ever in Ireland, the heaviest metal, blues rock band, was Skid Row in 1970. Gary Moore and all of myself. This is 42 years later. I think the word is abandoned. What does that mean? I mean, it's like lost it a few times, like, like oh, in a good way. Oh, like, got out there. I thought you were talking about abandoned the runs. No, abandoned. <laughs> no, 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 just like, you know, abandoned. you're out there. That's art. You're out yeah. there. So and you know, nobody can touch you at that point. Well, what we're saying is the heaviest album before that, in my opinion, heavy metal, was in 1970. Now we're back again. 42 years later, you weren't alive at the time when we were making the first one. You know, you, you weren't even born then, whatever, it was too much more about that. I might have been just... Well, it doesn't matter, but what, the point we're making, to all the, this is very important, man. Mm. To all those, the Irish metal fans and metal Ireland, mm. who reckon they're heavy metal bands, and more than, we got the uh, derogatory, uh, whatever, about the fact that we play it well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah, we do, yeah, we do. So what we're saying is, if there's any heavy metal, Irish heavy metal bands, you'd like to take us on in the battle of the bands. We'd love that. We'll be there. You know, because let, let's be honest, you guys are of all the energy. Here's all you have to do. You organise the gig. You organise the PA. You organise, there has to be a cover charge to so we can pay with the juice from wherever we're going. Yeah, yeah. Maybe up to the dollar and a half, somewhere. Two sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> so we're saying that we, that's just me and him now. Grant we said, we are the heaviest metal Irish rock band in the world in 2012. There's not another Irish... Am you I did right those numbers? Yeah, did that yeah. Would you say there's another Irish band that's heavy as us? I mean, you can... No, I mean, like you've just listened to the record and there's certain parts that are just like... As I say, it's just, they're just out there, they're, they're heavy. There's no other band that do, doing what we're doing. Not, no. Not like no. I can't think of anybody anyway. No, we love all. We love all. I, the I, like, I love all the old Irish bands like Lizzie yeah. and everybody. Yeah. They were great. Big influence on me. I love it. All the bands from like yeah. Quo and everything. And Pat Mike Manis. Pat Mike Manis. He's been a great show. Right. It could right. be better. But the studio we recorded in Stewart's, like yeah. the, the thing he got going with yeah. was great. Like not a lot of people would understand that. Right. Like there's no click tracks, no band as such. Right. Just me and you, just a kid in the room, and you looking at me through a glass. That's weird. You give me, the, give me the cues. And the important thing in the middle Don't of that, the fact that some of the Holy Ghost, as you say, we're in Jealous Town Studios, done shopping. Mm. It's Joe Gray. He's not just a private writer. He is the engineer. That's right. He does the engineer. He records, he engineers, he mixes, he masters. And he doesn't get in the way. That's the most important thing. And he has his own band. Like with Lemon. That's Lemon. Lemon that's yeah. Him, yeah. So we have to thank Stuart for, you know, the reason we sound as great as we do. But we would sound great. Oh, we sound great. Yeah, and Stuart made the sound even Better. greater. Yeah, he embellished it. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. Like the film. <coughs> well, that's it's not a, it's not a, a regular way of recording. No. I mean, you know, it's not like you put the drums and the bass together. It's just like that thing you cut loose. Well, what we're saying is, it's live in the studio. It is. We go in, 
we do, I'm playing the guitar and singing, you're, you're playing the drums, we put all the stuff down, you're going home after a couple of hours, then we put the bass down, then we put a few solos down, then the vocal is either. So, the original Skid Row had the same approach, like, you'd make an album in a day, mm. 34 hours, that was a bit long, that took 34 hours. This one here, we just plowed through it. Nothing has changed. It's the same. It's a similar energy, you know. And you're doing a great job on this one, Brad. So well, you're also hanging with the God Brothers now and again. And well, I've got a few things going on, but yeah. um, this Skid Row thing could be good. Well, what we're saying is, if John Bon Jovi will ring. I, if, if Bon Jovi, if John Bon Jovi doesn't ring, we'd have another album called Christmas Cold. Bon Jovi still hasn't rang me. It makes no difference to me whether he rings or doesn't ring. I prefer it if he rang and said. Friend, and that's what we're doing but he can call me brush if he likes. But uh, you know, what we've done in 1986 showed a lack of respect. Mm. You know, we rang Gary Moore, and Gary Moore said, There's nothing got to do with him, ring brush shields. Mm. He never rang me. Mm. He obviously didn't think it was worth his while ringing me, that he wouldn't have to ring me. Mm. But then, those days, there was no YouTube grant, there was no, it was very hard to do this, I was That's afraid they can't believe, they were in the American church before I had any they were even gone. That's right, yeah. But, and I have to say this, I mean this, I'm saying this to John Bon Jovi, mm. I'd like to thank him, because he's actually kept the name up there, if you know what I mean, in a roundabout way. Yeah. So, poor old Snake and Rachel, they get in the brunt of it, because Sebastian, he's heading off with Gene Simmons from Kiss and the great show where Elliot and Glenn Hughes, Glenn Hughes yeah. after South America. We're heading for South Alabama. <laughs> it's funny when I met Glenn Hughes in England, he was asking for you. Well, and Lenny, Francis Rossi as well. Mm -hmm. And they all said, Skid Rock, great band. What happened to him? Where's Bruce now? Well, and Rossi goes, <laughs> Rossi says, the last time I saw him was on the motorway in 1972. I assume he was in the service station somewhere. Well, yeah, probably the blue ball. But there you go. <laughs> and they go, yeah, great, but whatever happens, we're going, well, we're, you know, we saw him in there. Like, are they languishing in the world in Elbow? Well, something like that. <laughs> something to do with, you know, yeah. everything's alright and there'll be a few more tracks coming out soon, you know. Well, this and here they are. Yeah, one, yeah. Of the, one of the greatest tributes we had like up, up on the, the websites was the lad who said that my artery in relation to offering Sebastian his job was up there with David St. Hubbins and his poetry reading group and spring with that. I'd like to agree with that. <laughs> So what mm -hmm. we're saying now is right, here's what we're saying, we're throwing the gauntlet down to the, to the Irish metal bands for a start. Anybody, any of them. Yeah, and we're saying that this is the heaviest Irish metal band since the original Skid Row in 1970. This is 42 years later. Here we are, we're still trashing it out. Bon Jovi, thanks very much, we're still chasing we'd, we'd appreciate a phone call, we'd appreciate somebody coming along and saying, Sorry about that, we're delighted you're still going. All the best with your new album. We'd, we'd be happy with that. That's right. So, we want you all to look out. This is the man here, Grant Nicholas, Nicky G. He's done it all. He's been everywhere. Is that anywhere you haven't been? Uh, no, man, I've been everywhere. Have, is, is there any has been you haven't been with? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bit like that. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. just keep trucking. That's all you can do, really. This is it. A cup of tea in the hand. And... Yeah, the beat's still the push. Well, no, yeah. anyway. So, this is the man that's beating around the brush here. Is that it? It's like that. Except not bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, so we'll be coming to your town soon. Well, that. that's what, right. What, yeah. so, rock, what, 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 rock heavy, rock animal, yeah. all of that. I'll give, give, it, give it a bit of that to France. Well, give it to, like, you're you're going to finish up. If you want to rock, we're the boys. And we'll see you there. Don't despair. Hello, every bit of the Jam Man Jovi. Never mind me. Because of that, Skid Row have the heaviest Irish metal blues rock album since 1970. Thank you very much for all the fans in America for tuning in and saying hello to us. We hope to be seeing you all shortly. Rock on. Rock, rock on. heavy.